Hello ladies and gentlemen out there watching on YouTube and welcome to race number 30 of season 9 of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series. I am Levi McIntyre, the voice of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Sprite Challenge here at Lime Rock Park as we're getting set for 15 laps of racing at this little over a mile and a half long road course. But with that said, let's take a look at the starting lineup for today. Starting in the last row for this week is Kyle Matthews, Ryan Acosta in the top 10. Dylan Jacobs gets his second pole of the season with Henry Durand next to him. Row 2, Matt McIntyre, Austin LaPlante. Row 3, Mitchell Collins, Arthur Xavier. Row 4, Jeffrey uh, or, uh, Jay Jefferson and Carson Gum. And then row 5, Alexander Rowe, Johnny Gardner. Let's get the command to fire engines here at Lime Rock for the Sprite Challenge. Drivers, start your engines! All 40 drivers rolling through the final couple of turns for the pace lap here. And we're running the bus stop version of Lime Rock since the last time we raced here last season, it produced a pretty solid race. We'll see how it is this time around since pit frequency is set to 4x, meaning we are guaranteed a pit stop or two in this race. So this race is going to be very strategic and very competitive, one can hope at least. But we're coming out of the final corner, and the pace car will be pulling in the pit road now. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means. That's right. After today, six more races left in the season, and it is time to... <gasps> boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. Top five really shuffled in a big way during that first lap, and Dylan Jacobs lost the lead to Matt McIntyre as Matt led the lap, but Dylan Jacobs trying to come back and take the lead back from the 14, but Mitchell Collins throwing his name in the hat to try and battle it out for the lead. So already here in the very beginning of the race, it is very competitive between these top three. McIntyre, Collins, and Jacobs, although Jacobs kind of backed out a little bit maybe he's waiting to buy his time to try and run back down the 14 let the 22 in line and then is going to try again here entering this corner but didn't make a move which is kind of shocking which in turn helps for the 71 of henry durand to kind of reel in reel himself into the three-way fight for the top spot which is now just turning into a two-way fight as matt mcintyre hangs on to the top spot for now but mitchell collins going to Ah, I thought he was going to peek to the inside to try and make a move for the lead. But Mitchell Collins still searching for his first career win in the series. And, whoa, he kind of gave a bit of a nudge to the 14 of Matt McIntyre. I thought he was going to capitalize and try and make the pass, but I guess that nudge did more harm than good to the 22 which is really interesting but everybody in the field for the most part up here towards the front are pretty well connected to one another but remember one of the big stories heading into this race today is the championship battle after a couple of struggling weeks for 
Za uh, Zachary Fitzwater and Scott Groverston and some huge emergence of new contenders like Alyssa Drayson, Caleb Kilburn, and Keith Miller Jr., Dylan Young, among others. All these drivers are trying to push it here at the end of the season to go for the championship. Matt McIntyre is another one of those guys who's looking to try and get in the championship hunt. He's 90 points behind Zachary Fitzwater. But he's going to have to hope that the 12 has and the other drivers ahead of him in points run worse than him for the next couple of races if he's going to have any chance of trying to get the championship. And how, and how interesting would it be if Matt McIntyre could become the first driver in the history of the Marvel Studios Cup Series to get a second championship? But Mitchell Collins takes the lead from Matt McIntyre and is going to get the lead a lap. But speaking of those uh, other championship-worthy caliber drivers, let's see where some of them are. Let's start by looking for Zachary Fitzwater. Both he and Keith Miller Jr. are actually in the bottom five right now towards the back, and Alyssa Drayson's also back there too. So that's going to be a huge point shakeup if it stays like this. All right, next up, let's look for the next possible one. There's Caleb Kilburn, fourth in the point standings, currently 27th, so he would get points as a result. There's Dylan Young, who's sixth in the point standings, up to 25th, at least according to scoring from the previous lap. Rafael LaDuke, ninth in points, up to 22nd. Oh yeah, there's Ashlyn Boyd, eighth in the point standings, hanging on in a top 20 spot in 18th. And there's Scott Groverston, who's another, who's second in points. He's having a solid run going right now in the 13th position. It's been a while since he's had a decent run, and he's trying to get the points lead back. And if things play out the way they are right now, he could take the points lead back heading into the race on Monday. Currently in 13th, highest of the top five in the point standings. But not of the top ten in the point standings, as two of those guys... Carson Gum up to 7th, and Matt McIntyre in 2nd. Those two would be gaining a lot of points on everybody ahead of him in the standings. But we're getting close to halfway. Next time by, it will be 9 laps to go. Then the lap after that, it will be pretty much halfway through. And if we stay clean and green the rest of the race... You gotta wonder about when will pit stops happen, if they happen. Well, it's not a matter of if, but when, I should say. Meanwhile, Dylan Jacobs uh, actually ran a little bit of a faster lap than the top two put together. Although, he's got two guys breathing down his neck, Henry Durand and Arthur Xavier, who are running fourth and fifth, respectively. As they're looking to try and get up there into the mix. But Dylan Jacobs closing in on the back bumper of Matt McIntyre to try and get up to second. Is he going to try and go for a move in coming out of the bus stop entering the corner? No, he doesn't. I think he kind of lost a little bit of ground right there in the uh, bus stop. But Mitchell Collins hanging on to the lead. Going to keep an eye out for drivers coming out of this corner to see if anybody's coming to pit road. And nobody's coming in yet. So that almost, a re almost guarantees that these drivers will make it on one pit stop. Seven laps completed, eight more to go. We're right on the bubble of the halfway point of the race now. Hmm. Excuse me. But yeah, Mitchell Collins hanging on to a firm lead over to 14 of Matt McIntyre, but will he be able to keep the lead is the big question, considering... If we get pit stops right here on this lap or next time by, and pit road gets very, very crowded, it could really shake up who could get the lead if they end up getting stuck behind somebody or if they have a slow pit stop because of either the tire changers not doing a great job or the gas man not filling it up all the way. A lot of things can go wrong with pit stops and it looks like they're gonna go around one more time to guarantee a one-stop race looking around to see if there's gonna be any takers early 
But no, it doesn't look like anybody's coming in this time. Everybody stays out. Another lap. As Mitchell Collins pulls ahead to a little over a second and a quarter lead over Matt McIntyre, as Dylan Jacobs really starting to struggle a little bit here towards the end of this long run. As he's trying to hold off a couple of, quite a few charging cars, in fact, Henry Durand, Arthur Xavier, and Carson Gum. Carson Gum, especially as he's moved up to sixth, trying to gain as much points as possible to get closer to that championship battle. But let's see if Mitchell Collins is going to lead anybody into pit road here. No, he doesn't. But Dylan Jacobs is going to be the first one to come into pit road. Trey Wright, Henry Sanford, Jay Jefferson follows. Johnny Gardner comes in as well. This could be smart on the part of these guys coming in now in a less crowded pit road. More open areas to work with. Whereas everybody else that's still on the track, like Collins and McIntyre, they're going to have to put up with a crowded pit road, and that could really hurt their chances of getting out ahead. Or it might not. We shall, we very well shall see about that. Coming out of the final corners, let's see if Collins is going to come in this time. And if, when he crosses the line, it'll be five laps to go. And here he comes. Here comes McIntyre. Fitzwater coming out last of the first group. So maybe Collins pitting now is a smart move because now it's not a crowded pit road ahead of him. But we'll see what kind of strategies get cooked up here on this on these pit stops but Collins is about to enter into his stall McIntyre coming in as well now yeah you can definitely tell Collins is gonna have a bit of a tough time trying to get out because of the amount of cars that are coming in but we'll see if he can get out of there clean yeah, relatively clean he gets out Followed by McIntyre, Xavier, and Carson. So Carson Gum going to gain a couple of positions, at least, out of that whole ordeal. But I'm looking around for the 41 of Dylan Jacobs to see if he can run past some of these guys. Oh, three wide with Jacobs, Trey Wright, and Arthur Xavier. But yeah, Mitchell Collins easily is going to take the is going to keep the lead after all this so we're actually going to do a full field rundown for the first time today mitchell collins keeps the race lead here at lime rock second is matt mcintyre third is trey wright fourth dylan jacobs fifth is arthur xavier sixth is jay jefferson seventh henry sanford eighth carson gum ninth henry durand tenth scott groverston eleventh is austin laplante twelfth is cole deaver thirteenth is going to be Johnny Gardner, 14th Melissa Alexander, 15th Alexander Rowe, 16th Daniel Voiles, 17th Dylan Young, 18th Jonathan Zorling, 19th Ashlyn Boyd, 20th Jordan Forbes, 21st Joey Parkhill, 22nd Raphael LeDuc, 23rd Jessica Shelton, 24th Rob Evans, 25th James Qualls, 26th Caleb Kilburn, 27th Quentin Moore, 28th Patrick Smith, 29th, Zachary Fitzwater, 30th, William Brock, 31st, Michael Norman, 32nd, Seth Cole, 33rd, Kyle Matthews, 34th, Ryan Acosta, 35th, Daniel Bouchard, 36th, Charles Sanford, 37th, Alyssa Drayson, 38th, Cody Lamas, 39th, Keith Miller Jr., 40th, Jesse Turner. That is currently how the field stands at the time for the time being three laps to go here at lime rock and look at his teammates battling for second trey wright trying to go by his boss co-boss matt mcintyre and looked like trey wright about made contact with the 14 entering turn one to try and make this move dylan jacobs kind of watching this from afar and seeing if he can do anything to get by the top two, or not the top two, but the two in front of him. 
Meanwhile, I'm looking around to see what else is going on. Scott Groverston trying to make a last uh, little charge to get more spots and more points up to 8th currently now. But as long as Mitchell Collins keeps his car clean on the racetrack and doesn't have anything happen to him, he's pretty much got this race in the bag and he will finally get his first career win. With less than two laps to go now, and Trey Wright now has cleared Matt McIntyre for the position, but a oh, little bump from the 14 into the 33 trying to make a pass, but to no avail as Dylan Jacobs trying to get into the battle for himself to get up to second and meanwhile his teammate Jay Jefferson's up here looking to mix it up too in fact three out of the five yeah three out of the five shadow called racing drivers in the top ten Jacobs Jefferson and Groverston the only one missing that's in the race is Jordan Forbes whereas Riley Henry did not qualify for the race today but we're coming to take the white flag here at Lime Rock. White flag is out for Mitchell Collins. Just one more trip around and he's got the win. Although Trey Wright really tried to pull uh, pull something there as he closed the gap by a little bit. Less than two seconds, but it's just not going to be enough time unless the 22 has something go wrong. I don't see anybody going by him, but Trey Wright is trying, but oh, he left the lane open for Matt McIntyre to try to get second again, but Trey actually managed to clear him. Man, oh man, things are getting dicey here on the last lap, but it's not going to affect the 22 whatsoever. As we're getting ready to come out of the final corner for the final time here today, checkered flag is getting ready to wave. Career win number one for the rookie phenom. Mitchell Collins wins the Sprite Challenge at Lime Rock Park. Dominating fashion, but it wasn't an easy domination. He did have to battle a couple of heavy hitters in Matt McIntyre and Dylan Jacobs to make it happen. But Mitchell Collins finally gets his first career win in the series. Great job for that 22 team. So now everybody but Stuart Campbell has gotten at least one win for Young Motorsports. Stuart Campbell, like I said, the odd man out of that group. But Young, Fitzwater, and Collins have pulled it off. And what a way to do it here on a tough road course. But let's look at the rest of the results. Trey Wright... Great performance in the second position, and in fact, that is his first top five finish of the season. And what a way to do it. Second being, or a third being Matt McIntyre, looking to rebound himself into the championship hunt as he finished in third. Dylan Jacobs, who was top five all day long, started on the pole but didn't get to lead a lap, but still a really good run in fourth. And then Jay Jefferson rounding out the top five in fifth. Henry Sanford continuing a lot of momentum on his side with a 6th place finish. Arthur Xavier, solid run in 7th. Scott Groverston, first time he's finished in the top 10 in quite a while. Great run in the 8th spot. Cole Deaver, solid run in ninth, And Melissa Alexander with a great run in 10th. Then there is the rest of your top 20, top 30. And the bottom 5 for this week were Kyle Matthews, Alyssa Drayson, Jesse Turner... Uh, Keith Miller Jr. and Cody Llamas. So that does it for our coverage here today at Lime Rock Park. We will see you in the race on Monday, but until then, here are your uh, victory burnout for Collins and the point standings heading into the race on Monday. And this is Levi McIntyre signing off.